What's up everyone? This is Scott with Titans and CNC. I'm here in Flower Mound, Texas with our new Studer S41 from United Grinding. And all week we've been getting this machine set up. We have some test material that we're gonna make some cuts on to ensure that this machine is cutting reliably. This is an O2 tool steel with a 60 Rockwell hardness. We're gonna grind the OD of this part. And in this particular application, we're gonna utilize a plunge grinding cycle. And uh, we're gonna see what this aluminum oxide 60 grit wheel is gonna do to it. What's awesome about the Studer S41 when we're programming is typically with the mill, when that end mill makes contact with that material, you're listening for that just right sound. Now, when we're grinding, everything's on a smaller level. We're dealing with molecules being split almost, so you're not gonna hear a thing. Typically, on a mill, we're gonna be listening for those chips flying. We're not gonna have that because we're making such light cuts. So you're seeing cutting sound. We have a Sensitron that's gonna pick up acoustics within the machine to show us what's actually happening on the surface of the part to ensure we're getting the correct surface finish, to ensure that we're getting the correct cuts on the part. Now we've made contact with our cutter. That's consistency. This is how we're gonna view and do our first article uh, setup to ensure that uh, we're making good contact with the part. You're not gonna hear it with your ears. You gotta use the instruments that the scooter gives us. Dang, look at that, that's beautiful. That's perfect. You guys have seen that before. You maybe not realize you've seen it, but you've seen it on your calipers, you've seen it on micrometers, you've seen it on your vise, you've seen it on hard jaws. Grinding applies in everything we do in machining, and it's critically important. Because these are so accurate and the surface finishes are so good, your tables are ground, your spindles are ground. Everything you do in CNC machining that's accurate is ground with one of these machines. So that's it for today. Stick around because we have a lot more projects. We have a lot more to learn about grinding.